Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be all the books that I plan to read in the month of October. I do have a bit of an ambitious plan for October. I'm going to try and finish some books that I've already got on the go um, but they're ones that I've been reading um, anyway so it's not like I'm going back to older ones that I started a long time ago and maybe need to get back into. It is ones that are currently on the go. The first one of those is The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. This is the third book in his Dark Materials series and I'm reading it I'm reading it now because I started it in September for Becca's Bookopathon, but I didn't uh, finish it. I only really got about 100 pages into it before the end of the month. Um, and I really want to get on and finish it because I want to finish the series. Also, I don't know, they haven't been advertising it, so I don't think there is going to be the third series on TV this year. I think they might put it off um, because of COVID restrictions around filming. Um, but I've certainly not seen any advertising for it. But that might start coming out in the next couple of weeks. And I haven't really looked to see if it's on. But if it is on TV this autumn, then I definitely want to have finished the book before it starts because I, I like to read adaptations before I watch them. The second book that I have on the go that I need to finish this month is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Nevernight Chronicles following a trained assassin Mia as she goes about trying to get revenge for the death of her family. Can't tell you any more than that um, because it would spoil the first book for you. Uh, so yeah and also I don't like to talk about this book for too long because Jay Kristoff is now a problematic author in um, public terms so yeah so that's the next one also it's due back at the um, library in the next few weeks so I need to get that finished because I've already renewed it three times they won't allow me to renew it again. And the third book that I'm going to attempt to finish is The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I'm between a third and a half of the way through it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this my workbook. So I'm going to take it to work, read it in my lunch break and see how far I get by the end of October. So I am on chapter 15 at the moment, which is page 144. I'll update you in my October wrap up with how far I got. Um, but this is just covering a history of Middle Earth, more specifically a history of the elves and how all the different uh, races came into being. So thoroughly, I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's not a book that you rave and, and just love because it is just a series of short stories telling the history of Middle Earth and of the elves. Um, so I do enjoy it. I do enjoy reading it. It's just a bit slow going for me and I'm not, I'm hoping I get quite a way into it, but maybe not finishing it this month. And then I have another three books that I have to finish for various reasons. The first of those is The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornacek. This is about a woman called Angaboda who is convicted of being a witch and she goes into hiding where she meets the god Loki and falls in love. Um, but then something happens and she has to come out of hiding again, putting everything that she and Loki has in jeopardy. This is a library book. It is due back to the library at the same time as God's Grave. However, um, I've only renewed this once, so I could renew it again. But I really would like to try and get it read in the month of October and back to the library on time. Um, so I'll see how I get on. And I I'm, I'm really love the idea behind this book as well. So it's a little bit of Norse mythology with um, witchcraft and I like I like the premise behind this. So I'm looking forward to picking this up at some point once I've finished other books. And then finally, I have two advanced reader copies that I need to read in the month of October. One of those I have to read in October because it is released in October. The second one is released in November. So I'll talk to you about those in that order. The first one is Midnight in Everwood by M.A. Kuznia and this is a retelling of the Nutcracker. It is about a young woman who wants to be a ballerina um, but societal expectations on her mean that that is not going to happen. She is expected to announce that she is going to be married um, in the new year. However, 
a doll maker moves in next door and he creates a scene for her to perform the Nutcracker in and she gets trapped in that world and she has to escape and it's it's magical realism um and it just sounds absolutely fantastic it sounds like it will be the perfect read for crisp autumn evenings um snowy winter days uh if you're lucky enough to get snow i live in the uk and i just think it's going to be a magical read i think it's going to be one of those reads that i love picking up in the evenings um when the sun's gone down with a lamp on curled up under a blanket so i'm looking forward to picking this one up and i really really want to get to it fairly soon it comes out at the end of october so i've got a bit of time to read it um, but yes i do want to read it in plenty of time to leave the review up on netgalley and the final book that i really want to get to in the month of october is all of us villains by uh christine herman and amanda foody and this sounds a bit like a take on um the hunger games basically um a tell-all book salacious tell-all book has come out about the families of a city called ilvanath and um every so many years there is a tournament which brings seven of those families together and it's been won every year by the villainous low family however i think there's going to be a twist um in this particular year so again i don't know any more of it than that that is literally all that the synopsis tells you i'm really intrigued by the sound of it um because it is meant to be everyone is a villain no one is good there's no white there it's all gray and black um so I'm really looking forward to diving into it. It comes out fairly early in November, so I definitely want to get this read in October. So it probably is going to be prioritised quite highly as well. Um, and I'll try and get that done quite quickly and hopefully I'll be wrapping that up in a month's time. So those are the seven or eight books that I'm planning to try and finish um or make headway in the case of the Silmarillion with this month uh, do you have any plans for reading do you look any further beyond um the month do you maybe do seasonal tbrs if you do uh, let me know how you arrange your tbr down below i'd love to hear from you all i'm always looking for new ideas on how to arrange mine i put up videos every monday at 6 30 p.m uk time and I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.